Hello, and welcome to Channel G News. I'm Matthew Stuber. And I'm Andrew Amalza. And to kick things off with our broadcast, we will be looking back at the 90s. Oh, the 90s. What a wonderful time that was. My girlfriend broke up with me. <laughs> yeah, that's where I first learned how to dance. Well, anyways, without further ado, here's our glimpse into the 90s. First up, let's look at the Hubble Space Launch. This telescope is a reflector that is used to observe infrared, visible, and ultraviolet light. Nice. Lift off. Okay, and now we're back. We will now direct our journey to the Gulf War that began in August 1990 and ended in February 1991. This war was triggered by Iraq invading Kuwait. The leader of Iraq, Saddam Hussein, wanted the oil reserves of Kuwait. This would eventually get rid of their debt they owed Kuwait. Iraq then set the rise on Saudi Arabia. When this was about to happen, NATO drew the line and said no. Okay, Matthew. Now let's go ahead and check out some archived footage of some of the fighting on the ground during the Gulf War. You guys ready to attack Saudi Arabia and take it from the United States, scum? Yes, yes sir. sir! Well, okay then. Grab your weapons and get fighting. What should we grab, Captain? Grab everything. There's no telling we'll face that. Yes, sir! Okay, team, spread out and take fire. Yes, yes sir! Matthew, let's come with you. Now you American scum! Captain? Captain's dead! What are you doing? Yeah, God bless our veterans. And now a word from our sponsor. Prepare for moon launch. Mega, Mega Rig Space Shuttle. The truck that transforms into a complete space shuttle launch site. Three, two, one, blast off. Everything you need for a voyage to the moon. Launch the satellite. Explore with the moon rover. Eject the cockpit. Alert emergency vehicles. Chopper rescue. Save the day. New Mega Rig Space Shuttle, a complete space mission in one. Now let's look back at the history. Now let's look back at the history of our comeback kid himself, Bill Clinton. I, Bill Clinton, as your future president, promise to cut taxes for the poor and increase taxes on the rich. I promise to be there for working-class, blue-collar citizens that make America what it is. Now, Mr. Bush, I have a question for you. How has the national debt personally affected each of your lives? And if it has, how can you fix the problems of common people? Well, uh, first of all, um, I don't understand your question. Uh, see, well, actually, we all do suffer from poverty. We all suffer. He, I, you, you know. But we all do. Yes, we do. Yes. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I know people from lower class families. I grew up with the children of factory workers. I may not have experienced it as bad as some people, but I will do my best as president to understand and fix these horrible situations that you and your family are in. Winner. Okay, unfortunately, in the same year of this debate took place, a horrible act of police brutality occurred in Las, Ve uh, Los Angeles, California. On this day, a black motorist, Rodney King, was beaten severely and it was all caught on film. The world finally knew what LAPD officers were really like. 
Get out, Get out of the out car. car! Get out of the car right Get now. out of the car! Why were you speeding? I didn't want to go back to prison. Give me your hands right now. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Hey, stop resisting. Stop Hell no. Stop resisting. Hell no. Stop resisting. This is for King! Freedom! Stop, stop, stop. Put your hands up. Put, put your hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Yeah, no, he's Get down. on the ground. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get on the ground. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Stay down. That was depressing. Yeah, it's horrible when law enforcement officers use, abuse their power. On a higher note, let's check out the inauguration of Bill Clinton. Repeat after me. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congrats, Mr. President. Thanks. <sighs> and we're back. That was an exciting time in America, wasn't it? Yeah, sure, Matthew. Exciting. However, just a year later, in 1994, a horrible tragedy occurred in California. Are you talking about the Northridge earthquake? Oh, yes I am. This earthquake, blah, 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 blah. this earthquake was pretty big. A magnitude 6.7 on the Richter scale. Not only was the magnitude large, but it killed 72 people injured in, and injured in LA. It also caused $20 billion in damage. I believe we have some footage. Roll the clip. One, I'm Sydney Kohara in the Channel 7 newsroom. There has been a major earthquake in Southern California. A major earthquake has hit the Los Angeles area. Good morning, everyone. You are watching KRON TV News Center 4. If you're just waking up, a strong earthquake hit Los Angeles one hour ago exactly at about 431, estimated to be a 6.5 or a 6.6 after Sean uh, I happened to be awake right when the earthquake hit, and uh, my first impression was. I wasn't thinking of an earthquake at all because it felt like a bomb went off. I thought, oh, there must have been an explosion somewhere because it just, everything just hit like a bang. I was on the floor, everything was falling everywhere. There was no lights, so all the power was out. There were people still trying to get out of the building. We had to help people get out because their doors were jammed shut, so we had to pull them out of windows. Uh, it was it was just surreal. It was uh, not like nothing I've ever experienced uh, before or since. And we are back. Let let's now check out the biggest crime co uh, controversy controversy of the decade. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Orenthal James Simpson was an American football player who was accused of stabbing his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. They were found stabbed outside Nicole Simpson's condominium. The Simpsons were represented by the dream team of defense attorneys. This team consisted of people like Robert Shapiro and Robert Kardashian. You mean the Kardashians? Yes, but we aren't going to get into that right now. Uh, that's for another day, Andrew. Anyway, here's some footage of the trial. Mr. Simpson pleads not guilty to the charges pressed against him. Uh, Mr. Simpson is guilty of all charges, and we have a way to prove it. Prosecutor, present your evidence. We have a glove from the murder scene. If it fits, we have our killer. Mr. Simpson, please try that. Come on over here. You can almost guarantee it. Your honor, it doesn't fit. Well, in that case, prosecution. Do you have any more evidence to uh, present? No, no we don't, Your Honor. Um, yeah. Then with all the evidence at hand, Mr. Simpson is found not guilty for the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron, Gold Ron Goldman. Case dismissed. While I may not personally agree with the outcome, Mr. Simpson was found not guilty. Well, anyway, anyways, let's get back to some lighter news. The Comeback Kid is, was re-elected in 1996 and inaugurated in 1997. I believe we have some footage of both of it. Blah, blah, blah. Both events. Both clip. I, Bill Clinton, promised to cut taxes for the poor and increase taxes on the rich. 
I promise to be there for working class blue collar citizens that make America what it is. Winner. Repeat after me. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congrats, Mr. President. Thanks. Unfortunately, a year later, in 1998, President That's my line. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Unfortunately, a year later, in 1998, President Clinton was involved in a sex scandal. This scandal involved Miss Monica Lewinsky, an intern of the White House at the time. During this time, she began her to have sexual relations with the president, Clinton. She was admitted to it to a co-worker while working at the Pentagon. This caused rumor to spread throughout the political environment. Bill Clinton even came out at first and denied these claims. The scandal became so big that the House of Representatives impeached Clinton, but the Senate overruled the impeachment. Because of that, no, Bill Clinton eventually admitted to the relations. We have some footage from these events. Enjoy, but again, please stay tuned after these messages. Makes the play juice and baby sip and slurp really drinks. Wow. Juice made darker for TV. She makes a cool slurping sound. Baby sip and slurp. And we're back. Please roll the clips. Can you believe I've been fooling around with the president? Uh, I gotta go. Wait, where are you going? I want to tell you more. Mr. President, is it true about the sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky? I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false, and I need to get back to my work with the American people. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> Andrew, this has been fun, but uh, we are on our last event. I two K. During New Year's Eve in 1999, people were in a panic because they were afraid that their information would not transfer over properly, and that all of the computers that were running the world would crash. What are we going to do when the clock strikes 12? The man on the news said none of the information will transfer over to the new decade. We need to stock up on food. You never know. The apocalypse could be around the corner. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, yeah it is. No, it's not. Alright, think we do what you're going to do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy 2000! Oh my god, it's 12. What am I going to do? We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Let's just see what's on the news. Okay, I may have overreacted just a little bit. Yeah, think. Woof, we'll we're fine. All is well. Well, thank you for joining us in Channel G News. I'm Andrew Amalza. And I'm Matthew Stewart. Say goodnight and good news.